What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys my favorite double team so far for Season 2 on the Ranked Double Ladder. Before this video starts, you guys know the deal. Show some support by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and letting me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been crazy. Just past 700 subs. Oh my lord. You guys are the best. You guys seriously are the best. Cannot thank you guys enough. So, this team is actually a butterfree team right here, and I've been using it on the ladder bin dominating with it been dominating with it i think i went seven and one in my last stream with it like whoo just running things rocking that front spot we got this butterfree and guys i know butterfree teams are annoying to play against but when you're using them they are actually a ton of fun so we're rocking out with it butterfree in that front spot with that focus ash compound eyes obviously has this ability so it can land that sleep powder more rocking rage powder that works as like a follow me sleep powder pollen puff and protect then we got my boy Torkoal over here with that choice specs, eruption, solar beam, heat wave, and earth power. Also rocking drought as his ability. So if you can get him in with that Charizard, if you don't have a sunny day setup or no flare going on, you can get that Charizard rolling in there and rocking out in that drought. Then we got my boy Sableye. I actually love Sableye in this team. Like just his moveset, it's Ally Switch, Will and Wisp, Quash, and Sunny Day. He has no hit moves, but he is just there to pester, be annoying, quash people around, and he has Prankster as his ability, so he'll just uh, keep getting that first turn priority. Then Charizard right here. Charizard's an absolute beast. Everybody knows it. I got him on the team. He rocks out with this team. Like, he really does work. If you can get him in with that drought, like, like I said, it's game over. He will just start one-tapping people left and right. Rocking Heat Wave, Air Slash, Solar Beam, and Protect with that Life Orb and Solar Power. So, like I said, that drought is night-night for everybody. Then we got this Mimikyu right here with a pretty cool moveset right here. He's rocking a Trick Room moveset with Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, and Sword Stance with that Lumberry. You don't really see Trick Rooms, but starting to see in Season 2 that Mimikyu's are rocking Trick Rooms because they can soak up a hit easily, then just send out the Trick Room because their disguise will just fall. And beautiful, you get a free Trick Room. Then we got this Conkledor who is a Soul Vested, who is kind of like our back end pick. Like, if we really need a special defense tank right here without a Soul Vest and get like a first turn priority with Mach Punch, here he is. He's rocking Drain Punch, Mach Punch, Ice Slide, or not Ice Slide, Ice Punch, and Rock Slide. Beautiful. I really do love this team. Like I said, I went 7 and 1 on stream, and it was just tons of fun. We were playing very, very well with it. The Sableye and Butterfree were just getting us started. Then we were rocking in with that Charizard, maybe that Mimikyu later, just to deal the damage and take out the opponents. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom screen. Definitely use it up. I really do recommend it. Like I said, my favorite team in Season 2 so far. If you do use it, let me know how you do with it. Also, guys, let me know for a question of the day. What is your favorite type of teams? Whether it's a meta team, off meta team, a weather team, say if it's a rain team, Hail team, is it, if it's a sleep team, a stall team, you got tons of teams. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, guys, we're actually close to Master Ball tier. We're doubles. I think we are, like, tier 10. I think we're, the bar is halfway up, so maybe two wins in a row or three wins in a row can get us there. So maybe we'll get it in this video. Maybe we'll not. But let's rock out and get going. Going up against another sleep team with Trick Room. This guy's rocking Dust Clops, Bottle Plume, Rhyperior, Torkoal, and DD, and that Halucha. What I really like to do with this team is I usually like to lead that Sableye and Butterfree, which I am going to do right here. So I'm going to lead the Sableye and that Butterfree here. We're going to bring that Charizard in the back end. But like I was saying, like I, what I usually like to do is lead that Sableye and Butterfree. But sometimes I like to throw them off by leading the Charizard and the Torkoal. Get that drought going and just running things. Or I like to set up a Trick Room. So there's like three different options you can go. But the Butterfree and Sableye is usually a safe call. I can see them leading that Dust Clops and that Indeedee. That would be the smart call. That can, mm, you can't quash a follow me. Okay, I can go for an Alice, but she's probably going to get this up. So, you know what? I'm going to actually, do I throw them off here? Now, I'm going to keep this rolling, and then if he goes for a Trick Room, I got to get that Torkoal in there. I have to get that Torkoal in there. Torkoal will thrive under that Trick Room and just dominate. He, he will be the slowest one on the field. I think he's like one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. If not, Hatterene might be up there. But look at this. Look at my trainer card. Ten times better than this, guy's. But this team is phenomenal. I cannot wait to show it off to you guys. But if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out. Chat up. I would love to talk to you guys. If not, hit that follow button. Swing by later. He goes Halucha into NDD. Probably the Psychic Surge. The Hooch is probably rocking the Psychic Seeds. Probably going to go for a follow me. Which is fine. And he's probably going to try to dumpster something. Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to Quash? I don't really want to Quash right now. I really don't want to go for the quash because we know the follow me is coming out. I don't want to waste a turn with that quash. He's probably going to go after my Butterfree, so I might just go for an ally switch. I'll unpop this work. I'm going to go Sleep Powder on the Halucha. If we get it off, we get it off. Um, Then I'm going to go ally switch. I'm going to go ally switch right into this. I'm going to swap sides here. Hopefully he doesn't really touch my Butterfree. Get out of here because he's going to follow me into maybe a Dynamax. Maybe a Dynamax Max Worm or not Worm, Max Airstream. Let's see. Ally switch pops out from my Sableye. Prankster is awesome. Dude. You love Prankster. Like Prankster is just... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Thunder Punch comes out here. Beautiful ally switch from me, but we showed it off early here. Psyche's gonna pop out here. 
It does not affect the save by beautiful and we get that sleep powder off. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee. Um, I'm gonna set up this sunny day. Do I set up the sunny day? Or I can just pollen puff on something, right? Uh, I think I'm gonna set up the sunny day. I'm gonna set up the sunny day. And pollen puff super effective to that indeedy. I'm gonna go after a pollen puff here. But you know what? I'm gonna go. I can't put a burn on. Do I set up the sunny day? What do I do here? I'm definitely gonna go for, for a pollen puff over here. And yeah, I'm gonna set up the sunny day. Oh, me comes in here. That's what I want to do anyway, so. Eat me, buddy. Eat me. I can put you to sleep if I want to, but we're gonna get this sun going. And then I'm gonna get that Charizard out. I'm gonna get that Charizard out for that Butterfree after we hit off this Pollen Puff. I maybe should have swapped right here. I maybe should have swapped right here. That probably would have been a smart call. Pollen Puff comes out. How much damage are we gonna do? Get him. Do some work. Okay, so, so decent amount of damage there before we rock out and get out of here. Um, we're gonna fight here. We are gonna go for a. Do we go for an ally switch? Um, I think he thinks we're gonna go for an ally switch. I'm gonna just go for a Will O Wisp, put the burn on that in DD, and then I'm gonna swap out and get this Charizard in here. It is not G Max Charizard, it is regular Charizard. But this is what I like to do in the beginning. I like to uh, usually get the sleep going, get something to sleep. So now we have that Hoochie to sleep. Hopefully it's still asleep for another turn. DD's gonna protect, that's fine. Just gonna save a burn here. Then we're gonna go after that Hoochie next turn. Will O'Wisp is going to do nothing. And show me that thing still asleep. He woke up. That hunk of junk. Sword Stance. That's fine by me. We're going to outspeed that thing. And we're probably going to take it out one hit. We're probably going to take it out one hit. I might burn it. I might actually burn it just in case. Or do I quash it? What do I do here? Hmm. I could quash it. I We're going to outspeed it. I'm going to actually put a burn over on this Halucha. Just in case it is... Just in case it is Focus Ash. Because then the burn will take it out. But if it's not Focus Ash, we'll take it out one hit. And the... Burn will actually switch over to that NDD, which will be beautiful. We just let that burn tick. But here we go. In this drought, man. In this drought. You love to see it. You love to see it. It's just this team. I love it. I love it. And if there's a faster Pokemon than me, I will just quash it down and the Charizard will one tap it. Like, it's just so good. This team is just so good. Oh my god. I really recommend using it for doubles. If you want to try to push Master Tier, Master Ball Tier, learn this team. It is so much fun to use. But like I said in the beginning, Butterfree teams, I get it. I get it. They're annoying to go up against they're annoying to go up against but they are just so good like if it's not broke don't fix it that's saying if it's not broke don't fix it right yeah there we go beautiful okay so here we go dynamax is charge art is not a g max which i kind of wish it was i kind of do wish this was like i said I'm, i am building a g max team as we speak here we go here we go what you want what you want let's go what's gonna go first protect from the indeedy it's gonna fail we weren't even doing anything willow is gonna pop out here Lucha, avoid it. You lucky duck. Hopefully he's not sashed. Brave Bird comes out first. Wow. Did he think we were going for the switch? I think he thought we were going for the switch there. And he does take us out, but that's fine. There goes if he was... Why did I think he was focus sashed? That's my question. That is my question. I could have quashed it. I could have quashed it. He had Psychic Seeds early on. Gotta think. Gotta think. That's one thing I really gotta work on is uh just studying the what goes on a little bit. Because I do see what's going on, and I just don't comprehend it sometimes. But there we go. We're going to start just one tap and Pokemon out of here. I'm going to get this Butterfree back out here. Do I get the Butterfree back out here, or do I get Torkoal with the choice specs? I could. We're going to be fast. I might actually get this Butterfree out here. I'm going to save that Torkoal for the end. I'm going to save that Torkoal in the back end. Get this Butterfree back out. Start possibly putting Pokemon to sleep here. I can always go for a Pollen Puff. Oh, he goes into the Torkoal. I can always go into a Pollen Puff and heal up my Charizard if I really have to. I know we're going to outspeed. I know we are going to outspeed. We are just going to put this thing to sleep. I think he might go for a follow me. You can totally see that happen. We go for a flare. Yeah, flare on oh no, a flare and a drought won't really do much. I'm just going for this airstream. I got to go for this airstream here and try to put this thing to sleep. Let's see what happens. These guys are very, very slow. They are very, very slow. My Charizard should go first, take out that NDD, and then the sleep powder should roll over on that Torkoal, which would be beautiful. Which would be beautiful. Look at that. Yes, sir. Get that speed buff once again. And then the next Pokemon, we're going to drop a flare on it. We're going to drop a flare on it. Oh my god, this team. He has not used his Dynamax yet. I think he saved him for his last Pokemon, but that's fine. We still have one more turn in this drought, which he's probably going to go up and go for the Max Guard. Like, do I predict that and just slide over to that Torkoal? But look at it. Night, night, Torkoal. Get him his blanket, guys. Get him his blanket. He's going to bed. He's going to bed. We gave him a little bit of Night Cool action. <laughs> the Solar Power is going to take a little bit of health here. Um, the real question is, I think this guy's going to go into a Max Guard with his next Pokemon. Depending on what it is. So I might just pile and puff the Charizard and go after that Torkoal. Is he gonna max guard here? 
I really do see a max garden. I really do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I just said. I'm going to go for that Palm Puff over here. Then I'm going to rock out with this max airstream over on a Torkoal. Like that is just what I see. That is just what I see happen. Him Dynamax that Vile Plume. Let's see what happens here. Here goes Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax that Vile Plume. And he's going to go into a max guard. That is my call. So Palm Puff to heal up that Charizard. And then a max airstream over on that sleeping Torkoal. Let's see if my reads were right. Come on, show it to me, baby. Part one's complete. We got one more part. Show me the max guard. Show it to me. Show it to me, baby. Let's go. Woo! The reeds. The reeds, baby. Going after that Torkoal. Let's get it. So all that coming from my way. Look at that. Like I said, we just get him in the sun and it's night night. Look at that. Just running things. He goes for the max guard. Gives us a free turn. Take out that Torkoal and we get the heal up. Oh my lord. We're going to outspeed one tap him with that max flare. Look at this. Get that little palm puff going. Yeet. Oh my lord. The reeds. The reeds. Yes, sir. You love to see it. You love to see it. Our sunlight does fade, which is fine. Do I still go for a max fire? We are going to outspeed, and that is going to be the game unless he gets another lucky max guard off. But what is he going to do? We still have that Torkoal in the back end, which is free specs. Double firepower. Um, what do I do here? I'm just going to go for a rage powder here. Play it safe. Have that come over here. We still have our focus ash. We haven't been touched. Air slash or heat wave? Heat wave comes up a lot better here. Heat wave totally comes up a lot better. And we're plus three on the speed board. We're plus three on the speed board. And the battle was canceled. Let's go. Telling you guys, this team rocks out in season two. We are updating our rank right here. Can we get Master Ball tier with this team? I know we were very close. We were halfway, and that was just a double win. Let's see it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I see where we're at. We are so close. We need one more win here. So we're actually going to hop into some rank battles here. Look at my record, 24 and 21. We went down a little bit when I was trying out teams, but this team i just been killing it with. Absolutely been killing it with. We're going to rock in to this next match here. Looking for this opponent because I was using some other teams. Like when I use like rental teams and all that, they're not like meta teams and they're not too good on the rank ladder. But I still do it for you guys. Get some wins, get some losses and all that. But this team, we were in a losing position. Now I think we're 8-1 and one in total with this team. But here we go. Hopping into battle number two. We just found trainer. Look how close we are. Look how close we are to get match ball tier with this team. Who is he going to go with? Is this the same squad? This is pretty close to my team right here. This is pretty close. Um, Do I go with a Drought early on? I can go Drought into Eruption. I could. I think I'm going to go Drought in this whole squad. Let's go. Charizard, Torkoal in the front. I'm going to bring Sableye in the back. Sableye just does work. He just does work in general. And then I could rock out... Mm, Conkador or Mimikyu. That's the call. That's the call. Because I can see him going for that Butterfree and I can go into an Eruption Heat Wave. And he's probably gonna maybe sleep my Charizard. Maybe try to roll a Trick Room. So I'm gonna do, like I said, I have the Drought in the front spot. Like I said in the first battle, you can always go with this Drought and throw him off here. This is the beauty of this team. Do I, do I go Mimikyu? We have two special attackers. Or is, is he special attacker? I believe Torkoal's special attacker with Solar Beam. Yeah. Let me see it. Let me see it real quick, buddy. Yeah. Get out of here. Special attacker. Okay. Now we need a physical attacker. I'm gonna go with the Mims. I'm going to check the summary. I'm going to check the summary real quick. Just see who's a better special uh, physical. It's got to be the Mims with that speed and attack. And if we want to roll Trick Room, we can. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's go right here. We have a Sableye in the back. Sableye is going to rock out. Sableye is awesome. I haven't even shown off the Quash yet. But some matches, that's all I would do with them. Quash, do a little pat on the head. Take him down with the Charizard. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But we actually have a big test here. This will actually put us in Master Ball tier like you guys saw. Or it will take us out. But the test is that I'm versus a similar team to this. I got to learn how to play against a similar team to this. And I think the drought was the right call here. I think he's going to go Dust Cops Butterfree. And I go into an Eruption slash Heat Wave. And just double up. Let's see what happens. Dust Cops Rhyperior. Dust Cops Rhyperior. The drought's going to come out here. I'm just Solar Beam that thing with the Charizard. I'm going to Solar Beam that thing with the Charizard. That should one tap it up. That should one tap it up. Frisk is going to show him what we have. The drought is going to pop out here. The drought. The beautiful drought. We are going to punk out a little solar beam action over on you. Do we go max? Do we dine it early on? I said we just go with this eruption. I said we go with the eruption on Torkoal. Or not the Torkoal. On the Dust Clops. Rhyperior is going to protect. That is a smart call. Smart call to protect here. And the Trick Room is going to get rolling. Trick Room is going to get to get rolling here. We're just absorbing sunlight. Does this go through that? Okay, I was going to say. Why is it absorbing sunlight? It's going to protect them out. The eruption pops off here. 
We're gonna do some work on this Dust Cops because it goes off of HP. Actually, this thing's just a defensive tank, so it shouldn't really do too much. Oh, it does do a good amount. Love you, Torkoal. Trick Room gets rolling. Torkoal is gonna be the first here. I might Dynamax my Torkoal. I think I'm gonna Dynamax my Torkoal here and take out that Rhyperior. I seriously think that's the call. Um, let me go for a stab heat wave into the Dust Cops. I'm gonna Dynamax my Torkoal. He should go first, and his Max Overgrowth should be able to hunk on this thing. I don't think he's expecting it. I think he's gonna go, we're gonna go Dynamax or Dynamax here. He's gonna Dynamax that right here with that weakness policy, but special attack, that thing stinks. His special defense is poo poo. It's just dumb. And now we got this Trick Room, and we have this Torkoal in who is gonna be the slowest Pokemon on that field. He's the slowest Pokemon on that field, so hopefully we can take out that right here and just run some things for a couple rounds. Let's see it. Come on, Torkoal, do some work. Are you dining? This guy Dynamax, and he is not. We're just gonna take out this right here. Bye bye, right here. Boom. See you later. See you later, baby. And hopefully this Heat Wave can do some work. I would love to see it. You guys would love to see it. Heat Wave come in clutch. Take out this Dust Cops early on. This Dust Cops is just a pester. He's legit just a pester. I might swap out my uh, Bulldozer's gonna pop out here. And it does not, what, what would, oh, it doesn't affect, what's it called? He was going for the weakness policy setup. He was going for that weakness policy setup. But smart call on my end to just take that out. Heat Wave comes out here. Oh, are you serious? You avoided that attack? Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I might swap. I might swap out here into my Sableye instead of my Charizard. Just keep going with my Torkoal. Just keep pushing. Probably going for a Max Fire here. I want to take out that Dust Cops, but... And does he have Butterfree in the back end? Does he have Butterfree in this back end? He's gonna go with his Torkoal. That's a lovely little Torkoal. That's a lovely little Torkoal. And is my Torkoal gonna outspeed here? I kinda wanna go for his Heat Wave. Do I wanna go for the Heat Wave? I can't go for that Protect. That Protect. I'm gonna go with that Stab Heat Wave. Stay in here. I'm gonna go for this Max Quake over on this Torkoal. Come on, is he gonna Dynamax his Torkoal? Like, who's slower? Torkoal v Tur Torkoal here. Show me my Torkoal is a little bit slower here. Show it to me. I can see him potentially Dynamaxing that Torkoal. I think that's a, it's one of his last options. But I really got to get that Dust Cops out of the way. So I'm thinking if he doesn't go after my Charizard here. He's going to Dynamax that Torkoal. Okay, we're going to try to get off this Max Quake on him. If we are slower, if we are slower, we will be fine. We will be fine. Because we either one-tap him or we two-tap him up. I can see him potentially going into the Max Guard on that second turn. I could see that. I could see that, unless he's going for it on his first turn. We'll see. Let's see what happens here. We go first. We are slower in this trick room. I love you, Torkoal. Do some work. Take him out. Not going to take him out, but the heat wave is going to pop off here. I really do see him. I really do. Our special defense is going to raise here, but I really do see him going into a max guard on that next turn. Let's see. Now his max quake is going to come against my Torkoal. Not going on my Charizard. No way, because it wouldn't affect me, and we will eat that up. Okay, Heat Wave's gonna pop off here. Can we see some burns? I would love to see some burns. Okay, let's see this Heat Wave come off. Nightshade's gonna pop off on the Torkoal. That's fine. We are gonna go first. So, ooh, nice damage, Charizard. I love you. Charizard does some work. Charizard does some beautiful work. Solar Power pops here. I'm just gonna go for that same thing. I really am. Because if he does Max Guard, say he does Max Guard. If he Max Guards, that's fine. The Dust Cops doesn't really do anything. Like, the Dust Cops gonna go down to this next Heat Wave, unless he takes out my Charizard. So, Heat Wave gonna pop here again, and we're gonna go for another Max Quake. We're gonna go for another Max Quake over on this Torkoal, before our Choice Specs has to kick in with that Eruption. We're sitting good. We're sitting good right here. Come on. Come on. Look at you. Look at my boy Torkoal. I love him. We go first. He does not Max Guard. He does not. Oh, my God. Take him out. Take him out here. If not, Charizard's gonna take him out. Oh we let's go master ball here I come we got a crit yeah let's go get that crit and now we're gonna keep pushing along here that dust cops is gonna go down and master ball is looking good for us guys it is looking good for us oh my god it's either we make it in the master ball or we're like a teensy bit out memento is gonna come out here which is kind of smart kind of smart before his uh, dust cops does go down he's gonna partially drop our special attack just take himself out, which I still have my Mimikyu, and do I have my, yeah, and my Sableye, which I can just start quashing some things. That's fine. That is fine. The Trick Room is still going, and my Torkoal is going to be the slowest Pokemon on this field. 
Now, what is he going to go into is the real question. He has his Charizard. You have your Charizard. I have my Charizard. That is fine. That is fine. We have two of these Pokemon here. I'm just going to go for an Air Slash here. Oh, watch this. Watch me get a free shot off here. Watch me get a free shot off here. We're going to go into that Protect and into that Eruption. Just into that Eruption. I seriously think he's going to go after my Charizard. He was smart. He won it. I Protect. He's smart. He goes for my Torkoal because I just got momento on. I should have swapped. Eruption comes out here. He did Protect. Let's go. Eruption's going to do a decent amount of damage here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he goes after my Charizard. Heat Wave. Okay, he's going to go for that Double Smack, which is fine. We'll keep Charizard alive for another turn. He's going to go into the Heat Wave. My Torkoal should be able to eat up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Harsh sunlight does fade off. And we're just gonna take this slow, one at a time. We're just gonna take it slow, one at a time. This drought, this drought, just rants thing. We actually went back to normal, so he might outspeed. We're just going into an air slash over on this Charizard. And go into our tree specs eruption. And if both of these lands, that will be the game. We got this in the bag. Oh, we, this, they're both gonna land. They're both gonna land. Let's see. Let's see, unless this Charizard takes my Torkoal out. What are you gonna do? I think he's going for another heat wave. Yes, he is. And I think Torkoal can survive. Yep. Let's go! Let's get it, baby! Oh my lord! Show me Master Ball. Show me. Oh, it doesn't think about! <laughs> Imagine I spoke too soon. He just gets crits both of us here with the heat wave. Magically goes first. Crits both of us. The crits are next too, and we lose the match. Another air slash into eruption. Eruption, the reason why it did so much less that time is because it's based on HP. It's based on how much HP the target has. But let's go. There it is. Show me Master Ball tier. Oh my god, dude, this team, I'm telling you guys, like, the best Seasons 2 team I've used so far. But we're actually going to go over and check our rank and see if we got that Master Ball tier. Let's check it. Updating our rank. Come on, come on. This will be the first time I made doubles. I made singles this season and hopefully doubles here. Let's see. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Master Ball tier in doubles with this team. Rank 13,844. Let's push that up. Let's hop into one more match for this video in a Master Ball battle. In a Master Ball battle. Jeez, man. We got it. We got it. We got 20 BP. I always like um, when a new season comes out, you can get all your rewards once again. That's awesome. Oh, what did we go down? We just went down. No, we went up. Did we go up? 42. Higher than 40. Were we at 44? I can't even remember. We went up or down. I don't know, but it's fine. Here we go. Hop into our first ever doubles Master Ball. Let me push this tier up. I dropped a lot of ranks, like standings, in singles. We went on a losing streak on the stream. It was rough. It was rough. It was rough. But hopefully we can kind of get going good doubles. I have been, like, growing an appreciation for doubles more than singles because I've been playing it more. And it just takes a little bit more skill, I should say. Or, like, there's just more to do in doubles, which is awesome. But this guy's rocking out with that Gudra, Rhyperior, right Milotic, Grimstar, Darmanitan, and Excalibur. Can Excalibur run Trick Room? Can he run Trick Room? I'm going to run this uh, Sableye Butterfree right off the bat. Get that rolling. Show off some Quashy Quashes. Um, who else are we going to rock into? Definitely Charizard coming in here. We got Charizard Mimikyu or Charizard Conqueror. I don't I don't want to bring that Torkoal. I do not want to bring that Torkoal. Torkoal can go home. I kind of want to bring that uh, that Conqueror with that Assault Vest. And do some work on that Milotic and that Kudra. And his Excalibur might be special attacking. I'm not sure. I know Grimstone is. But let's bring that Conqueror, show him off, because this is the only Pokemon we have not used in this video. But come on. Come on. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. I know Master Ball is another breed of gameplay. It's another breed of gameplay. Who do I see him leading, though? I don't really know what that Excalibur does, but I can totally see that Grimstar coming in, maybe with that Milotic. And we're going to put that Snarl to sleep. We're going to put that Snarl, Snarl to sleep. I can see him going into, like, an Ice Beam on my Butterfree. Totally see that happening. But if he does take out my Butterfree early on, we go into the Charizard with the Sableye. We quash some Pokemon. We can set up the Sunny Day. That's what's good. We do not need a Torkoal to run the Charizard. It's just so good. Okay, so here's the Excalibur Gujra combo. Um, I'm going to put that Gujra to sleep. But let me check the info. What typing is Excalibur? He is Bucket Steel. That's what I thought. Okay, so Bucket Steel. We're going to go for a little bit of Sleep Powder over on that Gujra. And do we go for an Ally Switch? I kind of want to put a burn over on that Excalibur. I really don't want to put it to sleep. I don't want to put that burn on that Excalibur. I see that Excalibur being pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to quash. I'm going to quash this Excalibur. Just so we, we can guarantee a sleep. Because if they both outspeed both of our Pokemon here. 
Then they'll just double up on my Butterfree. Which is fine. So we can at least get a free Sleep Powder off. Oh, it's a grass move. It's a grass move. No! I might be dumb. I might be dumb. Okay, so I know we outspeed that, uh... Oh, you gonna take out my save? You gonna take out my save? That was smart. Wow, bad play call on me. I was thinking he was Sab Zipper, and I forgot this was a, uh, a grass move. I really did forget that was a grass move. I thought it was a bug move. I thought it was a bug move. Okay, tough, tough position here. Start off Master Ball a little, a week here. Let me go into the six Galva. Can this thing be put to sleep? I'm gonna go for this Rock Slide here. I don't really see this how it's being. I might just go into this Ice Punch over on the Scootra. Start doing some damage on it. Is this thing Life Orb? Took a little bit of damage. He's got to be Life Orb. Unless he did a recoil damage move. But X Scissor, he used X Scissor, right? I don't think it's a recoil damage move. I think this thing is Life Orb. Let's put the sleep. I love his design though, Excalibur's design. We're still here. We're not calling this match out yet until our Charizard is gone. But dude, Sableye, no! I could have kept the Sableye alive. I could have kept him alive. But Gene's made a dumb call, guys. He made a dumb call. Happens. He's going to Dynamax his Gudra. I think it's going to be his Gudra, right? No way he's Dynamaxing that Excalibur. Actually, he probably is with that Life Orb. Let's see it. What you got, fool? Yep, Gudra. Gudra coming in here. We're going to rock out with an Ice Punch. Give him a little punchy, punchy. But things are not looking good for us. Things are not looking good for us. We cannot put that thing to sleep. Sleep Powder comes out here. Overcoat. I'm just getting outplayed left and right here. I am just getting outplayed left and right. Wow. Wow, my Butterfree is useless here. Useless here. We're going to drop our attack. Our Assault Vest comes up a little bit bigger here. We're going to get a little Ice Punch. Show me that freeze. Give me a little bit of luck. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's still hope. Uh, Iron Head's going to pop over on my boy right here. I'm going to Pollen Puff him. I am going to Pollen Puff him. What are you... Oh, I thought he was weak this policy. So what you mean? He is leftovers. I'm going to Pollen Puff. Oh my lord. Do I Pollen Puff or do I Rage Powder? I'm going to Rage Powder here. Bring that Excalibur over here. Anyway, Rock Slide. Did we, uh, did we outspeed that Excalibur? We did. I'm going to go for this Rock Slide here. And try to make him flinch. Just try to make him flinch. We got that Freeze right there. Just chilling. Rage Powder comes up. Maybe I should have went for the Pollen Puff if I was going for the flinch. Gudra is frozen solid. You'd love to see it. You love it. Rock slide. Avoid the attack. You serious, man? Yeah. Do a little bit of damage. I wouldn't have done that. Excalibur was over here. Iron Head's gonna pop up. He goes through my rage powder. This thing! Wow, this guy's just outplaying me hard this game. Wow, never seen anything like nothing like this. Nothing like this. Played me so well. I gotta give this dude credit. Gotta give this dude credit. We have to go into the Dynamax here. We cannot really do anything with our Butterfree. We cannot do anything with our Butterfree. My Butterfree is just gonna have to sit here and just pollen puffed up. Like he knows we can't do anything with our Butterfree. Um, do I really want to pollen puff here? I'm just gonna protect with my Butterfree. I got a Dynamax in my Charizard. Max Flare. We're on this Excalibur. Really boost our speed. I think we can take him out right here. I think we take him out with just this and boost our speed here. We should be able to outspeed regardless. But hopefully this Gudra is frozen for another turn. That would be huge and our Charizard can't come up clutch. But jeez, man. These guys give me a run for my money. It's weird because I've never versed a team like that. I never versed a team like this. Like, I expected the Sap Sipper. I just messed up on my play. But that Overcoat, wow, dude. What a smart guy here. We're going to go into the Protect. I don't see him going in for my Butterfree. That's the thing. I don't see him going after my Butterfree. Show me that Gudra's still... Well, he is going to protect here, too. Show me that Gudra's still frozen. We are going to do a little bit of damage and boost our speed here. Let's get it. Yeet. Then we're going to set up that Droughty Drought. Then we're going to set up this Droughty Drought. Show me that Gudra's still frozen solid in the Ice Age. It'll be beautiful. He thawed out. He's going to go after that Max Geyser. Ooh! That's going to be game for us, guys. That is going to be game for us. That's going to take us out. What does not? What does not? I thought. Last chance here. Hmm. Last chance. I cannot put him to sleep. I'm going to go for a Rage Powder. Because I don't think it affects the what's it called. I think it only affects that Gudra, not the Excalibur. 
That Excalibur went right through it. He went right through it. Rage Powder. And we're gonna go for that Flare. Set this Drought up. Into the Excalibur. Into this Excalibur. Excalibur is not gonna go for a Protect. The Gujar might be able to go for a Protect if it's rocking. I doubt it though. Probably rocking some crazy coverage moveset. The Rage Powder pops here. We're down to our last two, guys. We're down to our last two. It's not looking pretty for us. Let's go. Max Flare. Yay. Take him out. Take him out. And this guys are probably not gonna take him out. Ooh, it does take him out. Look at that super effectiveness. And we take out this rain. Rain is gone. Rain is gone. So if you want to go for another water move, Gudra, by all means, go right for it. Galver does faint. We got another turn with our Charizard. And our speed is boosted. Oh my god. We gotta get a pollen puff off here. T Bowl comes out here. Over on him. Ew. Okay. Okay, we're chilling. Solar power comes out here. I'm gonna pollen puff on my Charizard. I think that's like my last ditch effort here is the pollen puff over on my Charizard. <laughs> I really think that's it. I really think it's my last ditch effort. We got Pollen Puff. Heal up our Charizard. Grimshaw is going to pop off here. I can see him going into maybe setting up a screen if this thing is prankster. But let's see. We got to go for a Pollen Puff over on the Charizard. And do we Airstream? I'm going to flare this. I'm going to flare this uh, Grimstar. Is this Grimstar going to protect? I'm going to flare the Grimstar. I'm going to flare the Grimstar because I don't see us taking out that Gudra in one hit. Fake out. I'll do my Butterfree. Oh, no. No. Max Flare pops out. Gudra, I need you to miss. That was a smart play to go into that fake out. Ooh, this thing is sashed. This thing is sashed. This thing is sashed. Oh, no. Don't you dare go after me. Gudra, Hydra Pump comes out here. He missed. He missed. We're still here. We're still here. Okay. We are still here. <laughs> okay. Pollen Puff. Um... We're in the drought. If he wants to go for a Hydro Pump, that's fine. It will do less, less damage in the drought. So, Pollen Puff into Air Slash to the left, right? Or no, Heat Wave. Into Heat Wave. We can potentially get the burn on that Gudra. Take out that Grimstar with it. Grimstar is going to use Taunt on the Butterfree. Is that is Pollen Puff still an attacking move? Let's see. Heat Wave is going to pop here. Is Pollen Puff still a taunting move? It depends. Because that is technically an attack move. Solar power is taking us down here. If we don't pop up, doesn't work. Pop up, doesn't work. Yes! Give me that health. Give me that health! Match not over yet. Thunderbolt comes out here. Can we eat? Oh, no! He didn't go for that hydro pump. No, that is going to be the game. That is going to be the game. If you went for that hydro pump, we were probably eating it up in that drought. We probably would have took out the next Pokemon. And maybe put the other one to sleep. Oh my god, that could have been an amazing comeback. We would have went for that Hydro Pump. We would have put this thing to sleep and then went into a Solar Beam. Oh, that would have been close. That would have been very, very close. But that is the game. I'm just going to a Pile Puff. I'll give this. I'm gonna actually give this guy just a win. Oh, we're in a taunt. It's fine. I was just gonna say. I was just gonna Rage Powder out. But GG to this guy. He played this very, very well. We almost had that comeback. We actually almost did. Just when we thought everything was down low. We got a crit. Just rubbing it in his face. And Ice Beam is going to take us out. But seriously, that guy played it very, very well. I did not really know my Excalibur. I never really go up against Excaliburs. But that overcoat was beautiful. He went to the overcoat. Sap Sipper. No sleep for him. No sleep for him. So that was beautiful for him to start off. For him to get that win. Let's go! Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Got Master Ball tier for doubles now to go along with our singles Master Ball tier. We are rocking out in Season 2. This team, guys, I highly recommend using it. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Just everything about it is amazing. I think it's the best team I used in Season 2 so far. Very, very good with that Butterfree and Sableye combo. But Sableye actually combos with probably all these Pokemon with the Ally Switch, the Quash. Definitely with the Fire Pokemon more so because it can rock out Sunny Day. And then it has that Will-O-Wisp to potentially put on the Burns. But that Butterfree is just awesome. It's just awesome. Puts people to sleep. Palm Puff for heal. Rage Powder to make the attacks go towards him. Then we got this Mimikyu. We didn't really get to show off the Mimikyu. We did put him on our team. But he's very good for teams that just totally outspeed you and dumps you. Like teams with Dragon Pole and all that. Just for the speed. You can roll that Trick Room. And then if you just want to throw him in for a physical attack or he has that Sword Sands. That Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. And that Play Rough to do damage. Same thing with that Conqueror. Very good with that first move priority. But he goes in as a different little thing. Like if they have special attackers, then you want to put him in because he has that assault vest. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.